on September 23, 1978, in their first meeting in 35 years, Michigan and defending national champions Notre Dame met at Notre Dame Stadium. The Irish, clad in their famed green jerseys, were led by future Hall of Famer Joe Montana and two-time All-American Bob Golick. Michigan entered the game with quarterback Rick Leach on the mend, held out of practice all week with a foot injury. Notre Dame pounced on Michigan in the first half, taking a 14-7 lead, with Leach connecting on just three of 14 passing attempts. Heading into the second half, Michigan's defense forced three turnovers that led to three scores, putting the Wolverines back in the game. Curtis Greer recovered a Notre Dame fumble to set up Leach's first TD pass of the day to Doug Marsh to make it 14-14. Jerry Meter stepped up and intercepted a pass that led to Leach's second touchdown, a 17-yard TD pass to Marsh, making it 2014 after a blocked PAT. With the Irish reeling, Mike Harden picked off Montana for the second time in the game, leading to Leach's 40-yard bomb to Ralph Clayton, making it 26-14 with 9-18 left. Late in the game, Montana was sacked in his own end zone for a safety to make it a 28-14 final. Leach was 5 for 6 for 89 yards and 3 touchdowns in the second half, while Harlan Huckleby chewed up 96 yards on the ground. For Notre Dame, Montana finished the game 16 of 29 for 192 yards, 1 touchdown and 2 interceptions, while Golick made a Notre Dame record 26 tackles in the loss. Michigan would go on to finish the season 10-2 with a share of the Big Ten Conference crown, while Notre Dame would rebound with 8 straight wins to finish 9-3 with a last-second win over Houston in the Chicken Soup game at the 1979 Cotton.